The Hopkinton Lions Club was recently featured on the Hangout Hour to talk about their upcoming diabetes awareness forum. Uh, we have this uh, forum coming up on May 12th at 6 o'clock. And this will be, of course, uh, Zoom and uh, platform will be virtual. And uh, we have basically, you know, in this, uh, uh, in this forum, uh, the experts will be talking about how to control and manage diabetes. They will talk about diet exercise. They will also talk about some of the side effects to prevent them, like cardiac, diabetic retinopathy, or kidneys. And we have, you know, also a the feature, you know, those experts. Uh, one is Karen Guru Poso. She is a nurse, and she is also a diabetes education coordinator at Milford Hospital. We also have one of the featured speaker is Kim Minio, and she has also written a book about nutrition. And she has also been at the Dana Farber Cancer Institute, Boston Medical Center, Newton Wellesley Hospitals. She has worked in all, all these places. And she's going to talk about the diet. And uh, Dr. Stephen Perryman is uh, an OD, he's a Hopkinton Vision Center, and he's going to talk about the side effects, you know, the diabetes lead to with the eyes or with the cardiac or with the kidneys or the health. So we have a, a team of experts who are basically handling diabetes from all angles, you know, exercise, diet, as well as, you know, the side effects and how to prevent and control the diabetes. Right. Wow. That is, uh, that is quite a distinguished panel, as, as they say. Uh, there's a lot of knowledge on that panel. But that's now, what, you know, we basically had uh, you know been contacting with this team and finally we were able to put it together and uh, in this environment you know with the virtual and we got some featured speakers you know to talk about it right that's great so may 12th that's a wednesday evening um yeah. thank you about three weeks from tonight yeah. now what, what would you say is this um informational forum geared towards people who have diabetes or people to be aware of um, if they may be at risk of diabetes or anybody, or what, what are you thinking? It can actually, you know, uh, you mentioned it, it can be, you know, for the one who have the diabetes because they can better manage and control their diabetes, you know? Okay. And also it will make you aware of some people who are kind of pre-diabetes, you know? Yeah. And it will kind of help them to have some knowledge about it so that they do not you know, basically eat too much sugar or so you know how much they can control with their diet and how much they can control with the exercise, you know? Right. It will be helpful basically, you know, for both the people who have diabetes as well as the people who are kind of pre-diabetes or who don't have it, you know, and to prevent. Yeah. Right. I think that's really awesome. In my life, I've been fortunate enough, I've had examples on both ends of the spectrum Mm -hmm. where um, someone I know took care of themselves and another person tried to ignore that they had diabetes and they had radically different outcomes. Exactly. And, you know, one of the things I say kind of like having, you know, diabetes is kind of like it's a lifestyle and it's actually a healthy lifestyle. You know, you got to be a little bit more aware of what's going on, but you can take care of yourself and you can really... Um, you can really do well for a long time with it. Yeah. I, I had diabetes actually for the last 30 years. Mm -hmm. And it's basically managing and controlling the diabetes. You know? Yeah. So how do you, so just a quick aside, uh, just a quick aside, Deanne, what's the difference between 30 years ago and now for you managing diabetes? Well, I think uh, the main difference is that when you initially get it, then you are kind of, you know, like uh, in somewhat, you know, shock and you want to do it, you are more serious about it. But as you progress, you know, although you should, you know, maintain the diet and exercise and the medication, you have that routine. So, but over the years also, you, you are not as strict as what you are in the beginning, you know? Okay. And you still want to lead your life, you know? And sometimes, you know, you can have, you know, maybe you have to be still very careful. 
that when you are eating especially sugar or the sweets, you know, and yeah. I love sweets, you know. So it is very <laughs> difficult. It's, it's very tempting, you know. But yeah. you still have to kind of uh, control it. And actually, then you have the family, you know. My daughters and my wife, actually, they control me, you know. Yeah. So they tell me, hey, listen, no, no, no. Don't eat too much cake, you know. <laughs> Give me a bite. They say, okay, you can have a bite, you know. Yeah. So that you are not missing too much and have a little bit of that, you know. Right. But right. It's a, family plays a lot of part on this, you know. Yes. Yeah, that's a really... That's a very important point.